Good morning to this very grey and autumn morning. Um, yeah, the day started with a thunderstorm, so I decided it would be a perfect day to start with a cup of tea and just, yeah, a very, do a very cozy morning. Uh, I also lighted a candle to get really into the moody feeling. And then I thought it would be perfect also to knit a little bit. And I got this set with uh, Fritid's gone from Sandnesgarn and uh, this is 100% Norwegian wool and I got this set for a pair of mittens uh, also called Tuva Watte uh, I showed you it in my last knitting podcast and I decided it would be the perfect day to start these mittens um, yeah and show you a little bit and take a little bit along with me uh, if you don't know me yet my name is Myra I'm coming to you from Sweden but I'm originally from Germany and yeah, I really like to knit and especially in this cozy time of the year. Yeah, and this is my cat. <laughs> she likes to be around when I'm knitting. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be yeah, just a great time to knit and make a cozy vlog. So I will show you how to knit mittens a little bit and how to fold some and yeah hope you really enjoy this vlog and follow along with me uh, this week <laughs> have fun watching this video notice that I have not showed you the pattern I'm using. Um, I said in my last knitting podcast I showed you a set that I bought and it were for the for these gloves. They call the Marios Tuba Otter. Uh, it's a pattern from Sandnesgarn. This is available as a free download or you can buy it. And you have both options and um, it's I think it's the same. Uh, this is for adults and has two sizes and XS and ML size. So I made the smaller size. Um, yeah, and the pattern is only in Norwegian, but I think also when you don't know the language, you probably uh, could, with the help of the chart and probably with my video, uh, you could make them as well. I didn't want to tell us that much of the pattern because yeah you can download it uh, and probably otherwise use a little bit of Google Translate if you don't know uh, how to what to do. Uh, yeah, I also will show you quickly. This is how the gloves will turn out. I will show you a little better in the end. This is just what you see me knitting. Uh, and then I thought I will also show you the wool again. Uh, and yeah, how much I um, used because I think it's really interesting. So for the X or for the smaller size, let me see, I, I wrote it down. Uh, so from of the darker contrast color that I just have on top. So this one, I only used um, two grams, uh, just very little. Uh, so if you have some leftover yarns you probably could use them as well or just have a look that they are all the same yarns though that they will felt it like the same or do like a little test and felt them um, but yeah just a very little bit so with the leftovers I can create some more mittens so that's really nice uh, then the second contrast color where I made the second uh, color work part with is this white and I used um, 11 grams of this one uh, and then I had the main color this is the beige color and I had um, two balls of this one uh, and I used 57 grams uh, and one ball is normally 50 grams so it would not be enough with only one um, but yeah a lot of leftovers uh, to play around for other mittens <laughs> Just a little side info and yeah, I will put the link for the pattern and the yarn in the description box so have a look at it and please let me know if you have any questions. I would love to help you if I can. And I 
start now with the cuff and the first color work chart um, and now I will go into the next color work chart. So hello, now I'm just having the fika, I'm having some pika nut uh, pastry and the coffee and I thought I would show you a little bit of progress that I have made. Um, for the first mitten I uh, made all the color work part, um, first with the darker brown and then with the white part um, and then I decided to already start with the color work of the second glove. So I just start into the white color work and yeah, it's going really, really fast um, because it's quite thick wool and quite thick needles. So that's really nice. Um, yeah. And then when I have finished both color works, I will continue and to make the sum uh, or to the, yeah, the whole bit. And I think it will go really really fast. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about, um, because it will shrink in the washing machine, uh, I probably should have taken a needle size bigger for the color work part. Um, but yeah, that's how it is now. It's, just, it's a first test and then we will see how it works out and uh, if they're for small I will give them as well um, and if they fit good uh, because there is the SM size, I think. Let's see. Um, yeah, so it has two sizes. It's the X, S and S and M and L size. Uh, it's for adults, but it does not say for uh, how big the hands are. And I have quite big hands, I would say. So, yeah, we will see if it works for me, otherwise um, I will need to just knit the bigger size for myself the next time. Um, but yeah, just a little update how it's going and um, yeah, it's the weather is a little bit better than this morning but it's still grey and a little bit rainy and um, yeah, it's just a very, very cozy day. I really enjoy it. So we just had some um, soup for dinner and now I will make or continue with my gloves. I knitted a few rounds in stocking and stitch and now I need to make a marking for the sum and normally I just put it on an extra thread but now I should knit on an extra thread and then knit them again so that I just have like a little um, threaten it that I can unpick later on. I think I have never tried it that way, but I have seen it on other 
So, let's see if it works out. The problem is I will see if it works out in the end when the glove is finished. Um, but yeah, probably best just try it with one and then see if it works or not. So, because the pattern is free, I think it doesn't matter if I'm saying how many stitches I put on it. Three, four, five, six. So now I have a used quite a thin thread, but I just knitted the stitches on the um, extra thread and then I put them on my other needle again and then I knitted them with normal yarn. So then when I'm later on open it so I can pick up stitches or the stitches on the needle then. I think that will work out. And then I think it's just yeah, then you just knit in the round um, before you will um, decrease on the top. Um, yes, so that's just continuing. <laughs> So today is the next day, it's the 27th of September and I have knitted quite a bit yesterday evening on the gloves. Um, yeah, I just came home from work, I have a cup of coffee to just get a little bit of energy again um, and to yeah, have some knitting time this evening. So this is how the first mitten look like. I have knitted the whole hand part, uh, the color work I have shown over yesterday, and then as well as the increases on top, uh, and then yeah, just like eight stitches left where you just pull the thread through, uh, and then you can already see it here. I have started to knit on the sum. Okay, so. <laughs> my little cat is also here uh, so now we have yeah this green thread in here and we slowly try to unravel it that's very easy and putting it out of one uh, of the stitches and then you can see i can easily put my needle on here and then i slowly unravel it a little bit more and then i can put the stitch up on the upper side, uh, I take another needle to unravel it a little bit, and then it's always you unravel it a little bit, and then you can put a stitch on the needle, oi, 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 and then unravel it a little bit more. Um, yeah, it's always going twice through every stitch, so it's like a, a normal stitch, yeah, that you made there, and then unravel slowly and put the next up and so on and then you just put some new stitches on the side and then you stitch around and now I just left them on a new thread so uh, yeah really easy <laughs> uh, I said yesterday that I have never tried the version with knitting in another thread and then unravel it later you could probably say um, but it was actually very very easy now i just need to knit a little a few more rows for the thumb and then this is finished uh, i can put it on this one so yeah you see i still need a few rounds um, but here i have my middle finger like almost at the top a little bit on the bigger side but i think it's good because it will be felted in the washing machine later on um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very interested if it shrink in size or if it just uh, felt in like the outside or how it will work. Um, but this is the progress right now. Um, yeah, the other one is still looking like this and I will just 
uh, needs to knit a few rows in stocking stitch. Such a fast knit and I think it's especially when gifting these mittens I think it's always great when uh, handmade gifts they have a lot of love and personality in it um, but it's also nice when they're not taking up too much time especially when you have several people you want to gift something for um, so I think until now it's a very great Christmas gift option um, um, yeah, let us see how the outcome will be. <laughs> While knitting the second mitten, uh, I need to try the apple cake that I just baked. Uh, I hope I baked it long enough. Let's see how it tastes. It will taste like cinnamon and some, yeah, cardamom and apple. And it's really fluffy actually. Uh, and then the crispy uh, stressed on top. I think it turned out really nice. Per perfect cake to eat, yeah, with a cup of tea and just knit. That's that's how I like my evenings. So, hello. It's uh, Thursday today, so it's a day later. So I have knitted the entire hand part yesterday. Uh, and now it's just missing the sun. It's uh, very cloudy and sunny and yeah, everything a little bit. So the light is changing quickly, especially now in the evening because it's getting so early dark. Uh, so the sun is almost going to set soon. Um, yeah. And then I will put them in the washing machine and fill them. Uh, and I have a look on the instruction again. Because I have never felt, felt something in the washing machine, uh, I have no clue what I'm doing actually. <laughs> so here it's just saying uh, you put them in the washing machine uh, on fine washing, is that how you say, uh, and 40 degrees. Um, then you can f put them a little bit in form when you take it out, uh, and you should, and you should. Um, let them dry flatly, but that's how you do with knitted stuff. Uh, yeah, so just the sun and then the next step. Uh, and it looks like it's going quite um, quite slowly, I think. I got some, I posted a little bit on Instagram already, and some of oh, you're so fast. But actually, this yarn is very thick, and I use very thick needles. So, yeah, I think I said it in the beginning. You could do, or I could do this in one day, if I have the whole day uh, for knitting. Um, 
but now I wanted to show you a little bit better some steps and some progress and it's yeah as I said it's very early very dark so it's a little bit better to use the light that I still have when I come home from work. So now they're finished <laughs> and now then we go into the washing machine. Hello, I sent greeting from the forest. Uh, I thought I would show you my finished gloves today and what place would be better than the forest. So here they are. Now they are felted. Uh, I have washed them at 40 degrees in fine washing, I guess uh, you can call it. There are so many birds outside, so I hope it's okay to hear me. Uh, so they felt it a little bit, but not that much that I saw it before. But that's good because uh, I said that they were fitting quite okay before and yeah, they didn't really shrink in size. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, and you can really see the pattern. Uh, and I think they just turned out really, really warm and, and the texture and yeah, the fabric just got so much better after washing, so now they're feeling really um, tight and warm and I think they will be quite good uh, in snow as well, so they are also quite water resistant, so that's quite nice. Uh, yeah, I will take some pictures also now uh, and I ordered already some new wool so that I can knit a few more gloves and a few other felted project so that will be really uh, excited uh, and I will show you yeah, a little bit more than when I'm at the part that I can show you because uh, I'm planning also quite some Christmas presents and um, yeah we will see how I manage to show you but don't show my family or friends yet um, yeah but here they are uh, and I'm also wearing my outer sweater because yeah what is better than wearing the outer sweater outside <laughs> yeah, and now I will take some pictures but thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you liked it and uh, yeah, just enjoy a little bit of nature with me and uh, thank you for watching please give me a thumb up when you like the video and follow my channel if you like uh, you can also have a look at my Instagram there I'm just showing a little bit more on everyday basis uh, what I'm creating or yeah how far I get with stuff